Hi Gemini, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading. This is for July 12th through the 18th for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Just overall messages, whatever the universe wants you to know. We'll be doing the Celtic Crow spread. For um, those that are interested in the extended, it's going to be just strictly regarding your love life. The link is in the description box below. All right, so let's see what's going on with Gemini 12 through the 18th. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. Okay, well, I feel like you're expecting some good news. Look at this. For some of you, it can be... Uh, an age difference mother child it doesn't have to be though but it feels like very even sensual flirtatious with with a page of wands we will see okay getting out of the cold hmm okay the justice the four of swords the four of pentacles the nine of cups the five of wands oh my goodness what's going on here Oh, wow. We're going to clarify, but we have two tens. Oh. Okay. I have to tell you that um, this balance here has to do with something that um, you're trying to look at it fairly. Um, I'm I'm looking at the whole reading. I'm I'm gonna start one by one in a little bit, but I'm I'm trying to get a sense here. Because I'm getting a lot of um finishing type of energy, a lot of closure, uh destiny. Let's start with the justice. The overall situation this week is that you feel like it's something here about time for things to balance. What is this fairness? I feel like you're putting here on a scale between your heart and between your mind. And this may be because there's been a break here. There's been something that you have been reflecting, maybe someone that you're separating, a breakup from a person here, or again, something that you have gone retreating here and trying to find out what's the best situation. How do I go about it? What is the, the, the balance? You're reflecting on this. It's like you don't want to choose from this or that. It's just you're trying to say what's the best situation. Both have values in this case. Both weigh the same. It's just what is that I need to, you know, to kind of reflect on. Because someone here is holding very tightly, very possessively. There's something about uh, with the Four of Pentacles here, the key to, to what feels secure. We have two fours, Libra and Capricorn, and we know both of these are clashing together. Between what you own, what you possess, and what you have been wanting, there's been a desire in the recent past. It looks like there's this wish fulfillment, but you are juggling with it. You are um, having some type of struggle with it. So it's just reflecting on this balance and what's the best way. I'm getting that because you have the struggle, and again, we're going to clarify and get a little bit more understanding what's going on with the justice. What is this about that you're trying to uh, find the best situation here, pros and cons, but the five of wands is in your mind, and you know that in, in the end here, there needs to be, um, it's a push and pull, but there needs to be some type of overcoming those challenges. You know that this is not an easy kind of, you know, way, let, let me just be fair. Something has to end here, and the immediate situation is okay. I'm tired of overthinking. I, I I just feel like this is over. I feel like when you feel like this is over, you get a certain sense of accomplishment because this is you. That's why I feel like there's something about endings here. You have the world. The ten of swords is coming in. It just may be that you know you are hoping for something. You're wishing for something and it does not go your way here because you're looking at being fair and balancing that aspect. And the Ten of Swords is just someone that says, okay, well, I guess that was not what I, I thought about. Um, something is ending here painfully 
or something that hurts psychologically, but you get a, sen a certain sense of closure. Um, external to you, maybe you don't see this, there are certain things that are still putting work. Maybe someone wants to put work or there's something here that it's being built. It is being manifested. Now, look, you have these two fours and then you have three and three. You're expecting something to arrive. It's going to arrive. The Ten of Cups, it tells me that, yeah, maybe it's not going to be the way that you're wanting to balance out things, but you are going to feel a certain sense of accomplishment, or a certain sense of uh, happily ever after. Let's clarify, though, because I really want to see what the clarifications are going to be. I know that you want to fight it. I, I keep getting that you, you don't want to give up easily. What is the justice card here? Four of swords. The four of swords, man. Let's, let's get for the four of swords and we will see. Oh, wow, the Three of Swords. I'm getting a breakup here. I don't know for some of you if it's a divorce and you're trying to hold on to your things. There are some type of legal matters or pros and cons here. But you are trying, again, to give it time. You are trying to balance yourself. Uh, you are trying to overcome this heartbreak and hurt. There, I, I have to say the week is going to end up good for you. But there's something here that you're dealing with a separation or a heartbreak um, or pain that you're trying to overcome. What is the Four of Pentacles? One more. Oh my goodness, the Four of Pentacles again and the King of Swords. It looks like it's telling me the cards that you have, that's what they are. Okay, this is some, I'm getting again an analytical person, Libra energy for some of you. What is this hard decision that you have to make? Uh, there's something very important that you're holding on to. Very possessive. What do you have to let go? Because the Four of Pentacles is coming twice and the King of Swords. This may be very much your energy or the person. But that's what you're having a hard time. Do I, um, you know, retreat from it? Do I hold on? And this is coming because of some wish fulfillment and desire in the recent past. One more. Oh my goodness. I'm going to look at that two of pentacles because I feel like this is the situation you're dealing with back and forth, back and forth. But this is very addictive energy, the nine of cups and um, the devil. Someone here feels very much... I want this, I wish for this. Of course, we are talking of the lovers are the trapped. I don't know if there was some type of um, forbidden wish here in the past. And now you are trying to make it right. I don't know if there was some type of tempting offers. But um, that's not the case, apparently, currently, because you... You're looking at it in a different way. And for some of you, you are separated from someone or you have gotten some type of disappointing news that you're trying to overcome. What is the five of wands in your mind, in your thinking? One more. Okay, you're struggling to let go. You're tra struggling with this transition here. There's something here that needs to let go and you you having a hard time. I don't know for some of you if you are moving or letting go of a relationship. But in your thinking is that you know that this is not going to be... Um, it's going to be a bumpy ride. That's how I see that. What is the Ten of Swords? It's a sun in Gemini energy, by the way. What is the Ten of Swords?
Okay. Ay, Gemini's. Something um, in the end needs to be let go. There, there needs um, something here to be released. There was this, like someone was waiting for a sign or a moment and feels like, oh, like I missed the calling here. I missed the chance. What is this world? Okay, you want to go towards something more established, commitment, family, having it all. That's your behavior. Some of you may be, you know, traveling or meeting family here. Literally, for some of you, for others, again, there's another 10. This week feels like a, a cycle that needs to end and something new needs to start. What is the Three of Pentacles? There's the justice. Okay. Whatever it is that um, you're dealing, I feel like things external to you, you don't see this yet. Maybe it's not immediate as you are looking at it because um, I feel like someone here is trying to make things work properly or fairly. You might not be seeing this, but actually they're working towards it or the universe, if this is not a person, this is hidden from your view. It's external to you, external forces in your environment. Um, but things are going to move forward. Now, this Three of Pentacles requires a certain collaboration, requires to say that this is what you got, this is what you work with, until certain things, you know, are, are becoming here fair. It's not necessarily also um, black and white that we have here, because that's how it seems, let, let me balance this situation, is right now, okay, this is what you're holding, this is what you're struggling with, you had a wish fulfillment that felt very much a captive, um, too good to be true in a way. You feel accomplished, but again, there are certain forces surround, that surround you that are going to move forward and you are going to receive that justice. Here you're waiting for, for something to come in. One more. Okay, you're waiting for celebration. You're definitely waiting for reconciliation or some type of good news. What is the Ten of Cups, please? One more. You're going to receive the good news. The Six of Pentacles. I love that Piscean and Taurus energy there. Um, do not fret. I feel like whatever it is meant to be, it's meant to be. Do not struggle. Because whatever it is, this justice and fairness or retreat that you are going back and forth and feel heartbroken is saying that the best out outcome here is not only to be open and receptive, there is going to be um, a balance here, but it's different from the, you know, you kind of weighing and what, what means a lot to you. This is basically saying that there's a harmonious energy here that is coming and that's the best possible outcome, opening your heart being generous, being, be very much sharing whatever it is, this bliss, this content that you have. And it's because finally something is going to release you for whatever has kept you um, in that negative thinking. What is the Six of Pentacles? Is the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Is this justice here that is coming external to you? It may be from your person. Things will work out. And is the wish fulfillment that you had in the recent past. Remember, you're dealing with this because someone is not opening up or is not sharing or is being closed off, which in reality is saying that this is something that needs to be shared. Happiness needs to be shared. Partnership, uh, uh, very much collaboration. Someone wants to make this work. I don't know if you are the one that is closed off, but it's just someone that is open. Do not struggle with that if this is what you want. Things will turn out great for you guys. Have faith. But I'm, I'm, these are all positive cards. Between earth and water, very nurturing, very loving. It's a receptive energy of back and forth. 
I really hope this resonates with you guys. We will see in the extended what's going on with your love life. Thank you. Bye-bye.